What's up? I got a really exciting video to share with you guys today. So a few weeks ago, I got the chance to hang out with a high school buddy of mine who him and his father literally built their dream racetrack in their backyard. And I think it's a super cool story. And it it's inspiring for me as somebody that's made the leap of faith to start their own business this year as well. And also telling a father and son story just uh, it really hit me in the feels after uh, losing my losing my father this past winter. But this is content that's kind of different for the channel, but I, I feel like I'll give you guys a little insight to the kind of work I do professionally. So I hope you enjoy this kind of content. If you do, give me a big thumbs up, man. And uh, thanks for hanging, I'll see you later. Man, all this ground gotta make me money. It seemed like a waste to me and then your mom said something about but starting a good car to me. up getting hooked up with Donald and uh, thought about starting side-by-side -side track and uh, pretty much went from there and then he told me he says you gotta have more than just side-by-side -side because sometimes uh, they'll show up and sometimes they won't you know you sometimes you need a bigger crowd so you have to get some like doom buggies and rally cars and actually it turned out pretty good a great idea him telling us all that because he runs side by side and he was only thinking about us and I, that's what I really appreciated that from him. Got a call from Joe and uh, he introduced himself and uh, I knew the name Gravitz but didn't really know Joe and told me he was going to build a short course uh, off-road track uh, right outside of Hopedale in between Adena and I was like really really skeptical about it you know at first I'm like okay I called Kevin I'm like hey this dude's telling me that he's going to build this track or whatever so um, Joe said, hey, if we could meet up when you get back from Florida, um, that'd be great. So uh, we come back from Florida and I got with Kevin because me and Kevin had already started uh, our own video vlog. So I wanted Kevin to be a part of all of it. Plus me and Kevin go way back. So everything that we do, we do together. So I call Kevin and I'm like, hey, let's go out and check this thing out. And uh, mind you, it was like what, mid-February? It was about February. There's some yeah. snow on the ground. There's snow on the ground yeah. and I'm wearing Bobby. Carhartts instead of a fire suit. <laughs> So like we come out and uh, everything that you see here, it, it was it was literally a field. It was there was weeds, yeah. there was you know, and we uh, knocked a path in that looks very similar to what you see uh, right well, now. We were actually and at the beginning we were running the other direction. We were yeah, running yeah. backwards, and then I was like, well, let's just flip it around, and run it the other way. And we ended up liking it more, and now here we are doing some jumps and yeah. widening out. So the big thing was. I mean, Kevin's been uh, involved in off-road racing for many years, and our dads were involved also. And once we seen Joe and Joe's, uh, the whole family's commitment to it, after a couple months, it was like real obvious that they were very serious about it and that they were gonna make something happen either with or without us. Right. And so once we saw things like taking place, we thought, okay, they're serious, and so now we're gonna get serious also. And. Uh, we started coming out and you know just helping as much as we could because we only live 10 minutes down the road so when you're when you're driving race cars and you get an opportunity to have a track open up and be a part of something 10 minutes down the road you, you got to push it yeah, you know and that's, you, that's what we did there's nothing better than having a backyard track
it was an exciting day. I, I like seeing all these side by sides getting together like they was and running very competitive. Yeah, I was getting a little excited in the ante jumping around up here. <laughs> so it, it was a good time. I'm really, really pleased. And it gives me an idea what we got to look forward to in the future here. So I, I expect it's going to start growing pretty quick. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's going to grow a little too quick for us right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not quite ready, that ready for it, but uh, we'll make it. Yeah, everything will come together. Yep. Now, I ain't going back to work. I, I like doing this here. And, and I, I like treating everybody else fairly and they appreciate it in returns they they really help us out a lot i appreciate the people that come here and race and do what they do like cost he let me take his uh, uh side by side out and run on the track gave me a uh, complete uh different aspect on what these guys do it, it that's hard it's, it's, that it's this tough. is not easy if you see me driving his side by side around and I thought I was flying, but no, I was a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Both of us got to try it and, and yeah, it, it takes it takes a good driver to run on this track. Yeah, it really does. And for them guys to let us run their machines like they have, Oki left us run his buggy too. And, and that, that means a lot to us. They yeah. trust us like that. But we you know, we didn't run them all that hard or anything. We didn't have the skill. <laughs> it felt like we was running them hard. Yeah, it did. It felt like it was. Not like we was going to blow them up, but he said, see, you guys wasn't even half throttle. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it, it's going to be good. Huh? Yeah. It, really excited about it. I'm ready for this to be my full-time yeah. job. Yeah, you're ready to quit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd love to be out here every day. Yeah. Peaceful. Do something mm -hmm. for ourselves for yeah. a change. Something that we like doing. And, and my, my uncle... Uh, Stanley, he had uh, uh, grabbed Speedway over in Bloomingdale, and I grew up working on that racetrack. He had an oval dirt track back then. Back in 75, 76 is when he had his last race there, and uh, kind of in the blood. You know, I never figured I'd be doing something like this because I almost got a chance to open his track up, but I'm glad it didn't. Th this here is much better. Yeah. yeah. Backyard. Yeah, backyard. Yeah, I walk to work. <laughs>